guys pay? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No yet. I'll send you my account number. <laughs> <laughs> I applied to a lot of agents. I can't. I can't count. Oh. I applied to a lot of agencies, but you know the, the replies were always negative. When you say fake, a lot of them like on watch. A lot of them. You know your channel. Your channel. Me. I've watched every every video you have produced on that channel. Really? Every video. Oh, it's still so much. NHS pass there. Hi guys, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name. Hi. Hi, Nanel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so guys, um, I have here Nick. Let me say his story is a success story. He has successfully relocated to the UK to work as a senior carer. Today, I'm going to ask him a few questions and um, ask him, you know, how he's seen us so far. When did you come here? How many days ago? I go here on the 11th of February. So I mean, you're still very new, you know? Very, very <laughs> young, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to ask him how he's seen us so far. Will he recommend it to others? What was his process like? How come he was successful and all that? So if you're interested, just stay tuned. <laughs> you must be feeling cold. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling, feeling cold, but I think I'm coping well. I'm coping well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I have some few questions for you. Okay. Okay, that's um, fine. So just tell us your name, first of all, and um, your name, and then something just brief about your nursing career, okay? So I'm Nicholas. Um, Nicholas Mensah from Volta region. Okay. I, I schooled in... Volta region I, in Ghana. For those yeah, that in Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volta region in Ghana. Okay. I, I plowed to be precise. Okay. So I schooled in Keta NMTC and completed 2017 there about. So ever since then, I think from the school, whilst we are waiting for our result, I was doing uh, other help in the hospital you know you do the work but not for money like so voluntary. That, yeah voluntary so when so did you complete 2017 yeah from 2017 yeah oh, yeah so in 2018 2019 i did my national service then after national service i worked with a home care agency in ghana Accra, oh, okay. where i managed um, a client for about 10 months i i lived in for ah. 10 months in Ghana. You were in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. What was your permanent job? After the service, you know, after the service, you need to yes. wait for a while before posting. Okay. So that's so what that you was were what I was doing. Yeah, that was oh, what I did. I think at that time, it was oh, okay. uh, what a staff nurse was taking. So it was better that than most of the options. It was wealthy. No, it was the agency, but I think, yeah, they, they, had, they had money. Oh, I didn't know that existed in Ghana. Oh, I see. So they do, they do have, they okay. do have. So after that, that was when I feel, I left there in March 2020. That was when COVID started. So uh, I just moved to COVID uh, management. That's the front line. So I started with COVID. So uh, my current okay. So, no, no. We you know when COVID became a pandemic, we had temporary places that were put up for case management, like isolation centers, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was at the Pentacles Convention Center in the Kasua area there. So I worked there for a while before moving to my station when my posting came. So where uh, were you working in Ghana as your station? Ah, uh, Ghana <laughs> East Municipal Hospital. Oh, no okay. problem. Uh, yeah. So how long were you there before you moved to the UK? I think we, my appointment was 20, 2021. Yeah, September 2021. So barely a year or so yeah plus mm -hmm. so i just had to go back to my studies initially i was learning oet but i had to switch to IELTS because of the difficulties in getting access to oet centers in ghana so i decided to do the IELTS and then 2021 was actually dedicated for my traveling plan so that was what i was focused on and by 2022 god's grace we are in the uk now Wow, I'm proud of you. So, um, how many times did you have to write the IELTS? So, I, I wrote it twice. Let me say I wrote it twice. The, the first time, what did you get? I, so, my first IELTS, which is a standard IELTS paper base, I had seven, but I had 6.5 in reading. So, okay. they made it um, unqualified for the NMC. Yeah, NMC yeah. I used that to 
process for the senior care when I when I saw the opportunity. I I actually applied for a lot. I applied to a lot of agencies. I can't I can't count. Oh. I applied to a lot of agencies. A oh. lot of agencies. And more than more than fifty. I can't count. Like more than fifty. Yeah. Because most of what I do is in the evenings. I will just when I'm on my bed. I will just be, I have um, I've copied my application and everything. So I just go onto the site, wherever I see, then I send to the agencies, the um, third party agencies, the one on one, the as in home care and care, other, home companies. Fast, yeah, care homes companies, and then these agencies that will link you to the care homes and all that. I was just sending copy and pasting, copy and pasting to them. Your CV to them. Mm -hmm. CV and the cover with whatever I was posting, posting, posting. And, but you know, the, the replies were always negative. You always see, what, what, unfortunately. Is it because yes, some correct. of them, I'm sure it's because you are from Ghana, a red list? Yes, so they will tell you they are not allowed to employ from Ghana, Ghana. or Africa this side. And so you keep on searching. Quite a few of them gave me a positive feedback so they requested for my passport my nursing, nursing license and some other documents which i provided but they said i will hear from them which i i never heard from them again so for those of you wondering um nick is actually a nurse but he didn't get the required ielts score to allow him to become a nurse in the uk the first time he was the ielts so he decided to use that ielts results to apply for the senior carer right yep yeah. And you said that that one was not UKVI. The first one you wrote was not UKVI. No, no, no. That was just a standard IELTS academic. So that means you had to write the UKVI. Yes. So that was what the agency I got, the third party agency I got, asked me to write the UKVI. And I told them, as at that time, I wasn't having enough money. So I didn't want to go and write another exam. And okay. then it would be like, I've wasted all my money on the exam. And if other processing monies are required, I wouldn't be able to afford it. So I told them, if they get me a job offer, I am willing to write the UK via as soon as possible. And they were like, okay. So they went ahead to process me. So where did you meet the? Where did you find them? Mm -hmm. So it was actually a friend of mine who met the 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 boss on linkedin so on he shared LinkedIn. a link with me yeah linkedin so he shared a link with me and i went to check the lady out then i also sent her um, a dm and then we started from there so let's see i met them in november the first message i sent to them was email i sent to them was in november 11th november that was when i sent the first message and then i think they replied me on the 12th so from there we started i replied with my document so once she replied me i sent my ielts report my nursing license my passport all the documents they would need to know that i'm qualified for the job i just sent all at the go didn't even wait for them to give me a go ahead and just sent them that this is what i have and i'm experienced with a three-year field job experience and uh, i i gave in my cv and everything so i think from that she just got back to me then we started the process from there. Um, there's your friend. How did your friend find them on LinkedIn? How was their profile like? What what tips can you give to other people so that if they go on LinkedIn as well, they can probably find a recruiter? I think when you go on LinkedIn, your profession, when you tag in your, your profession, mm -hmm. and I think there's an option where if you're looking for a job, you can put on a notification tab that if this specific profession has any open vacancies, they should... Yeah, I'll let you. Notify you. Uh -huh. Yeah, even till now, I still get notifications that this job is open for this carer or this nursing, whatever. And I still get those uh, information. Even on Facebook, I join a lot of pages on Facebook. We're really serious. I would, I would, Instagram, I'm everywhere on Instagram, LinkedIn, and then uh, Facebook. So we wow. just have to join almost all the groups. All the guys. That's an advice. If you don't have a LinkedIn profile, you can start creating one and then mm -hmm. request for alert for um senior carer or nurse job vacancies in the UK and all that. That's how he got his wow. Congratulations once again. Thank you. So from the time you found this recruiter and then you submitted your document, how long did it take them to get you your COS and how long did you did it take them to get you to the UK? You met yeah. them in October 2021. 2021. Yes. And uh, we did the process, the contract and everything. Then in, I think, December 5th, I had my interview with the... I had had an interview with the boss to okay. see how prepared I am. How, okay. then, then 
she arranged for an interview with me with the employer on the 5th of December. Okay. okay. December 2021. Okay. Two weeks after. They told me after two weeks, I'll get the, re- uh, as in the result of the interview. So after two weeks, she told me I sailed through. So I should just hold on for my COS. But she got me the offer letter. Okay. So it took you, so when you met them in November, it took them about a month to book you for an interview. Yeah, yeah. Had sort of like um, a trial interview with you, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. see how prepared you were, yeah. and then they let them pass you on to the company. Yeah, they also interviewed you. Yeah, yeah, and then they got you the offer letter in about two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. In about and two. then how long did it take them to get you your COS? When I got the offer letter, I had not gotten my IELTS requirements, so I I had to write my uh how do you call it my ILG KVI. Right. so you had to rewrite the ILG KVI so that you could use that for your visa application so guys yeah. i've actually prepared a video about which ielts you need to relocate so i'm going to post that video after you see this video so guys stay tuned it's very important so that you don't book the wrong ielts to be in the same situation like nick was okay so nick you rewrote the ielts KVI. And then, mm-hmm. so in the attempt to write the IUKV, I, I did a computer base, and then when the results came, I had 7.5. Wow, which, which had met the requirement for NMC. That means now you've met the requirements for, for the NMC. For the NMC. Wow, mm-hmm. I remember you sent me a message on Instagram. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, that was when I started disturbing you about which <laughs> option to go for because I was torn between going ahead with these people that have gotten me a job offer and then starting from uh, maybe cbt and all those things for nmc and i know when i want to do cbt it will take me like if not less than three months to get, to get the, clearance from yeah, that clearance from moh and mm-hmm. all those things so i was confused that's why i started asking for opinions like from you guys that know much about it most of my friends who some of them that had passed the aisle back then were telling me i shouldn't just go for this Care thing. I should go for. I should go for this. I should go for that. And uh, this one is more stressful. You know, yeah. Do you know what I think? You're already now in the UK. Yeah. And that three months that you'd have spent in Ghana, whether it was three mm-hmm. months or, and then mm-hmm. now you heard that people are not. The MOH is not now releasing clearance. It's like difficult. Like, it's very very difficult. They say they don't have the forms anymore. So can you imagine? It's just take. It takes them to just print one form. Mm-hmm. Now they say they don't have. But you know, you know, it's an agenda, right? I know. We so you would have spent like three, four, five months. Yeah. Do you know how much you you be able to save in the UK in that five months? So and that was so the you... last one that I wait. I'm like, if I'm waiting in Ghana, I'll still be here. And then uh, you know how the money has it. So I'll still be thinking about money issues. But if I'm there, even if it's hundred pounds, I'm able to save. I know I'm working saving something before waiting to transition. So. Exactly. That was the last thing that I, I weighed out and then decided to go for this. So yeah. this is, I, I don't have to the right choice. If you now like where you are and if the management also likes you, they see that you are a hard working senior carer, and then like they also say, ah, if you're a hard working senior carer, you even be a much better nurse. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then once you pass a CBT, they can't even still give you a, an offer for it. A nest for the same company. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they can now change your offer from senior carer to a nest. You know that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's possible. If they if they if you impress them while you're looking as a senior carer. Mm-hmm. And then there are CBT centers in the UK. A lot of them. You just have to get somebody in Ghana to do the paperwork in Ghana for you and then a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. So we hope we move there. Now I'm just settling in, so I don't want yes. to focus so much on in the future i just want to take a step at a time so yes that's what i'm doing now i'm just trying to settle in so you met them in november mm-hmm. you did the interview in december you got your cos when i got a cos oh, yes. in january in fourth, january yeah fourth january wow yes. and then yes. you got to the uk on february 11th yeah yeah i, I got to 11 february i left ghana uh 10 february i i had to take a transit because okay. I, I had to book, leave very early to the time mm-hmm. of booking. So okay. the BA was quite expensive. And I just opted for... Did you pay for your flight yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you pay, you pay for your, your own visa. visa. You pay for your own visa and your own flight tickets. Yeah, so mm. that's, that's it. 
But you know, once you get a COS, even if it means going to get a loan from the bank, that's it. That's it. You, have, you know, you know, you, know you have something to hold on to. There's Even no, in the bedroom, there's no, there's no interest rates. You don't mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. So, wow. right, so, right, it right. only took me roughly four months from beginning to the end. Like, yeah, oh, yes. I missed him on the 11th of November. It just occurred to me. And I got here on the 11th of February. So, wow. I think that's four months, exactly. No. Okay, November to December, December to January. January. It's three months. Three months. November 11th November to 11th December. Yeah, 11th so if you calculate it that way, yeah, it's three months. It's so three about months. three months. So yeah. less than four months. Mm -hmm. Three months exactly. Wow. wow. So they are they are they are very effective. So most of the things I didn't do. I'll take their name privately, okay? No problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Yeah, because I don't want to do um, adverts which they have not asked me they for. have not paid for yeah, yeah yes not even they have not asked me for like okay, okay, yeah. okay. did they let you pay for consultation or anything did they let you pay for their services so, so what i'm thinking is because we are part of their maybe first or second batch from africa she told us she had never employed anyone from africa so we were the first batch she was getting so I don't know whether with the subsequent ones they will bring on new protocols or but with us I didn't pay anything. Yeah. You said you didn't pay a penny. I didn't pay even one pound, no, to them. I didn't. I didn't pay. You know, when we were coming out, so I, I just wanted to get her uh, an artifact from Ghana. She said she won't take. She oh. doesn't want anything, even that that will influence maybe look like a bright. I don't know. That's a good thing. Found. They didn't take anything. You are blessed to have found them. That's it a good thing. It's all by the grace of God. Yeah. <laughs> well, how much people are paying? 9,000 pounds, 3,000 You know? Yeah. You know, I, Nanel, I've got, I've paid money to do, it's not consultation, but you just uh, pay for a seminar to know about the opportunities, <laughs> the ways to enter this senior care. You pay, I paid, what 70 pounds money. I think so. What you cover the money is like six hundred something Ghana cities. I paid that money, and it was supposed to pay thousand eight pounds. Then thousand eight hundred. Yes, thousand eight. You pay me, and that what one. What agency are talking about? I know. I met I met another agency. Okay, this one to be they are genuine, but you pay thousand pounds in mm -hmm. Ghana. What? And, oh. and I I do you know I paid three hundred uh, three thousand Ghana cities to them. And then for the process, and I paid them not long, and I met this. Age. I was actually doing three. I had met another one, which I paid three hundred cities for uh, the process to start. So they they also got me uh, an interview and everything. But by the time they got me theirs, I had gotten this job offer and everything. And I even like where yes, and I even like where my my employer. Let me say my job website is located. So. I didn't want to even bother myself to go for that interview. I just focus on this one to finish up with the process. So I had spent other money that I've not even added to oh. my. So I, I just don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> so what would you advise people? These days, because of how the news is going about senior care, senior care, people are taking advantage of it. Just today, someone sent me a WhatsApp, uh, I don't know, one information on WhatsApp that they, they have some options. You know you know need to write IELTS, but you get 54 something and the offer was just too good to be true. So when I when I saw it, I just told him this is not true. Like yeah. it's not true. Even if you go to British Council uh, or the embassy for how do you call it? The UK exactly. UK UK uh, you see the requirement UK VI IELTS is part of the requirement. So how is that person going to help you not to? Yes. Just so, told them that some things are just... So it's it's unreasonable to tell me, if you tell me I will not need IELTS, that one I will not believe you. Mm -hmm. I will not believe you. Because That's I know... Pay, pay 6,000 pounds. You don't need IELTS. You can become an ex in the UK. Mm -hmm. I think this one said you should pay 2,000 pounds. And the offer was just too good to be true. And I, and I told the guy to just arrange a Zoom meeting with them. If they agree... That will give him at least forty percent assurance that okay they are somehow genuine. Then the rest of the process to you assess them. 
because most of them don't allow you to do a Zoom meeting because they know they are lying. Mm -hmm. They can't face you. Yeah. So those are the challenges you faced. You yeah, encountered so, a couple of fake well, agencies. When you, when you say fake, a lot of them like on what? A lot of them. Now they have contacted a lot of agencies. So the fake ones, you know my story. I even apply for agencies in Australia, oh. Canada, oh. and US. So oh. the US one. I had done the interview, and they said I passed. And then I was supposed to pay for the tuition for English. So you deposit money to start a tuition for English. So uh, in the process to do that, 2021 was dedicated to this. So I was doing everything, every angle. I didn't want to leave, uh, leave any news in. So I was going through every means, Canada, US, Australia, then the UK. So, but UK was like my number one, followed by Canada. So I was doing everything. So I've paid money for eligibility assessment for Australia, Canada. I paid for all that. And then UK, I paid for that uh, seminar okay. thing. That yes. seminar, yeah, I paid for that one. And then the agency I met in Ghana, they are genuine anyways. I paid that money too. Those are hanging money that I've not even resorted to anything. But at the end, I met my goal, so I just forgot about all the the hurdles we had to go through. The journey has been far. Oh, it's wow. been far. I'm glad you have so, like, you, you've been able to get to the UK now. What advice would you give to people that are still contemplating? Do you think they should come? People that are in your situation, like nurses that want to come to the UK through this route? Of course. I, I wouldn't say anything that we know what is happening now, the agenda that is coming up right now. So maybe I don't want to say anything that will trigger the leaders to uh -huh, block anyone's chance. But if you weigh your own, I think it's per people's plan. If per your plan, uh, maybe someone wants to marry, have a family before they travel, they fear if they travel, they will not settle down as in family wise. That's per their plan. But me, someone in my shoe, if you know your house is not stable, and you want to go for a greener pasture if there is something like that you should just go for what your heart yearns for if you know what you are doing you are successful and you know what you are doing it's genuine you don't waste your money just go for it you don't sleep on it the IELTS, there's no way you go without IELTS. so just go for the right channels don't become too desperate to go for things that look even unreal People are so desperate that they go for things that are glaring, glaring their face that this is not true, but they are going for it. I just don't understand how people go for such opportunities. So, yes, and also seek for information. People should seek for information from right sources. So, if you have ways, if you see something, cross check from someone you know, <coughs> that you think is on the process as well. Cross check from someone you know has passed. Watch channels, videos. What's not, you know your channel, your channel. Me, I've watched every every video you have put on that channel. Really? Every video. I <laughs> I went back to watch from the day you got to the UK and you were doing a video in your room and all. I've watched. Every <laughs> video. And you know the funny thing is, before I got to the UK, you remember you did a you did a video on the apps you should get on your phone. When I was in Ghana, I downloaded all those apps. <laughs> I downloaded all those apps on my phone. Some of them are limited to region, so I couldn't download them until I got here. So I downloaded all the ones I needed to download. Wow. I, I was wow. living in UK in Ghana before I got here. <laughs> That's a funny one. He said he was living in UK in Ghana before, before he... I got here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after watching your videos, it's like, oh, I know everything. Even the grocery, the shopping you went for. Yeah. I, I watch all those things and you know what yeah, people will tell you you don't have food there you don't have this so you should when I watched that video I was like that chicken bag that you held and it was something yes. like, I can't afford that <laughs> <laughs> wow wow so in oh. all how much did you spend? Because the company did not pay for your flights and your tickets. Mm -hmm. And then you also needed money in your pocket before coming. So in mm -hmm. all, roughly, how much did you have did you spend? So in all, let's say 15,000 Ghana cities. 
15,000 Ghana CD. Let me convert it to dollars so that people will know. That's inclusive of the visa. The visa, your ticket, your TB yeah. test, your police clearance. Yeah, yeah. And the IELTS result. The IELTS, the IELTS uh, as well. 15,000 Ghana CD. So I have viewers from other countries. So let me just let them know. So that's about 1,645 pounds. That's about um, 166,000 Indian rupee. That's about 250,000 Kenyan shilling. That's about 914,000 Naira. And South African rand, that's about 33,628. And it's about $2,200. Okay. Okay. I, see. But I think it can be less because I, it's an approximation I'm giving you. No, not exactly 15,000. 15, so if you have 15,000, I'm not sure you may see that. You should. You should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have you started working as a carer already? Have you started? Have you taken yeah. have you started? How is it like? Is it stressful? Do you regret? How is it like? No, 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 no. I don't regret. <laughs> you know, basically, these things we did them in like my home country. We do all those things. You you assist people. You know, I'm in the residential community. So it's basically like just living with your grandparents. That's if I should put it that way. So, so it's not really like working, working. You're just mm -hmm. assisting your yeah, your ah. granddad and your grandma. That's, and that's, how are your colleagues? How are they treating you? I must say it's home away from home. From home. The day we stepped here from administration the reception to the work side has been wonderful. The people are lovely. I'm so the people happy are you. actually lovely. They are lovely. Even the community, when you go out, you don't feel just that you know that you are black like when you go out because everyone is white. <laughs> and in that area, we don't have much of black people. So you see the white people all over and you are standing out. When yeah. it comes to that. In terms of your skin color. Mm. Yeah, but they don't they don't do anything to make you feel like they don't you are not welcomed. Or you don't belong. When, when, when I went out the last time, I think uh, I had I run out of data on my phone, so I couldn't say the internet to use my map. So I go to a bus stop and I just asked someone to help me. The the lady did not know where exactly I was going back. She said she didn't know. I thought that was it. So surprisingly, she just went over to somebody else to inquire about what I asked them. Oh, for you. Yeah. So she came oh. back and she was like, Oh, I should take this route down there. Oh. I was so shocked, like the way oh. she, she I'm happy for you. Me. Yeah, they are very, very lovely. So, so how are you coping? The weather, the food, how are you coping? And the culture? <laughs> for, for the weather, for the weather, I don't have a problem with the weather. I do go out with even a uh, short sleeve. Are you, why? Uh, I, I just, we have a football park close to our place, just like a uh, five minutes walk. So I do walk there to watch the kids play here. Yeah. They have a team there. So I just go there towards and play. But when it comes to the food, that is where the, you know, they don't take much spices as we do. So mostly the thing is almost like a, a bland food for us. Yeah, that yeah. is like spicy stuff. So that's, but now I've got to, today I went shopping. I went to buy yam. I went to buy food. <laughs> I went to buy plantain, yam, and uh, like basically everything I needed was in the shop. So I was just like, I'm not dying. Wow. Was, so your accommodation, the company provided the accommodation. The, yeah, they are providing for three months. Then three months. after that, I would have to go. So if for... you watched my video, you know how to, my video on the apps, you know how to start mm -hmm, searching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I have those apps. Just I'm waiting for the last month so that I start searching. You can actually start searching. Some of them will say available in, let's say, in June. Available oh, in, yeah. so you can even start searching now and then okay, okay. it before. So when it when it gets there, you can just. Thank you. Thank you. Have you received your first pay? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'll send you my account number. <laughs> <laughs> so your final words. <laughs> uh, I just have to say a very big thank you to you, Nanel. Oh. All the information you've been putting out. It's been of help to me because I compare every information to the things I hear from you. And on your channel, I don't, on the Telegram, I don't really comment there, but I'm always reading people's comments, the ones that are suitable to my case. I I take them. So anyone on this process shouldn't relent. You will send the applications. They will give you the, we are sorry to say we are sorry, we are sorry, but keep on sending. 
keep on. So the last month, my I started getting a lot of good positive feedbacks. That's the thing. I don't know what I don't know. Do you know that everybody is saying that immediately they'll they will they will hear I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we are sorry, we are sorry. Then suddenly when they get an offer, then now all the offers will continue like that. Yeah, it will continue like that. So last time I had to go and unsubscribe to some of them and fall like spam them so that they don't keep on giving me uh, messages. So um, you should just not be you should just be relentless and keep on believing that we will get to where we want and the requirement is IELT UKVI mm -hmm. and do not fall for any scam. That's my my most concern. People are falling for scammers. Go to the right sources. If you don't if I, I'm sure your uh, message inbox is full always, but they can they can go to the Telegram page, ask questions. Sometimes when I, I posted a question there, there was a lady that DM'd me to answer me. So oh. people are always there to help out when you come with questions. So people I should call this for this page, eh? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People are helpful there. I think again, it's silly. Yeah, something yeah. for people silly. Silly, yeah. Silly in the UK now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tilly messaged me to give me some support, and also uh, I thought there was one lady too on Instagram, Nezio. So she also messaged me. I messaged her one time, and she also replied me with some feedback. So people should seek for good information. I think that will help with everything, even in your visa application. You can do that process yourself. I did my visa application, but if you don't know, someone can take money from me that they are going to do visa for you. And you know the the Kara visa is cheaper than the normal visa, and it comes shorter. I yeah, applied for my visa and I got it in six days. In six days. Six days. So nobody should deceive you that you should pay extra money to, to speed up the process. Once you are applying for the health and Kara visa, your visa is like a protocol visa. It will come in six days. So people should just be aware of all these things. Search for information. That's my keyword. Search for information. Right sources information. So that's all I can say. And thank you again to Nanel. Nanel, thank you very much. What's the favorite video on the channel? I think the grocery one. The grocery one. Eh? <laughs> 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 the food is banned. Yeah. Uh, the grocery one is key. Today, when, I go, when I go to the shop, I was actually looking out for the chicken bag. <laughs> and I, and I, I got it uh, 599. I got yeah. one 599. So maybe yeah. after here, I'll go and do some mischief in the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. So, Work hard, okay. I'm sure people want to ask you more questions that I forgot to ask in the comment section. Mm -hmm. So please do well to check and then answer them, okay? Sure, sure. And thank you for even you know giving me the opportunity to interview. You know, there are so many people that have come to the UK and then they'll send you messages. I know your videos were so helpful. I'm like, just come on the channel. Just thirty minutes. They'll say, "Oh, I'm sorry." You Sometimes... know, you know the reason, right? You, you should, you should know the reasons. Yeah. Yeah. So we can, we can. So the fact is, it, it hurts me. Like, yeah. Like it. it's so because, I'm, I'm it's because of people like you. That is why we are able to get information like that. So yeah, that is why I consider there's no need. There's nothing nobody will do to you because you are here. Nobody mm -hmm. can do anything. Mm -hmm. Whatever will happen to you will be by your own action. So if you know you are, <laughs> yeah, your path, yeah, that all they be saying, so they, they won't happen. You know. So thank you so much for thank you. Uh, thank helping you. us. Thank you, sir. Thank you thank so you. much. I'll come to your side. Not, no, you know, no. you promised me a photo shoot, guys. He's a photographer. <laughs> well. Once I get my, once I get my camera and all my sets, I'll come yeah. and give you the first photo shoot. Me, I don't forget to, so me, I'll arrange. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> By the close of this year, I will come, I will come to you. <laughs> I All hear right. you. Thank All you right. so much. Bye-bye. Right. Have a nice day. Bye.